Okay, example two, A, B, and C are three events such that A, B are independent. A and C are mutually exclusive. Given P, A, 0 0.4, P, B, 0 0.2, P, C equals to 0 0.3, and P, uh, B intersect C is 0 0.1. Find A, P, A union B, B, P, C given B, and C, P, C given A prime. Alright, to solve for A, so we use this formula, P, A union B equals to P, A plus P, B minus P, A intersect B. And then we put the value of A, P, the probability of A is 0 0.4. The probability of P is 0 0.2 and because of this uh, intersection, uh, these two events are independent. So, independent. Okay. These two events are independent. So, here we can multiply P A times pp so here we put negative 0 0.2 times 0 point oh okay uh, this one 0 point pa is 0 0.4 this is 0 0.2 so finally the answer is 0 0.52 okay next pc given b so we use this formula <coughs> PC intersect B over PB and PC intersect B already given 0 0.1 and PB is 0 0.2 so you get 0 0.5 so these are the solution for A and B ok next question PC given A prime can be written as PC intersect A prime over PA prime so this one can uh, the Venn diagram can be used uh, to sketch three these three events, and we noted that A, B are independent, A and C are mutually exclusive. So uh, A and C there is no intersection, and A, B are independent. So we are looking for uh, C intersect A prime. So actually A intersect C prime. Uh, C intersect A prime equals to C. Right? So now, this one equals to PC over PA prime equals to 1 minus PA. And then just put the value PC, you get 0 0.3 and 1 minus 0 0.4. So finally, you get 0 0.5. Okay, example 3, a puzzle is given to two students, Aziz and Bong. From the past experience, it is known that the probability of Aziz and Bong will get the correct solution uh, are 0 0.65 and 0 0.6 respectively. Uh, if, the, if they attempt to solve the puzzle without consulting each other, find the probability that a. The puzzle will be solved correctly by both of them. B. Only one of them will get the correct solution. So, without consulting each other, meaning uh, Aziz and Bong, uh, these two events are independent. Right? Let's discuss a uh, solution for A. P. A intersect B. Why? Because uh, the question asks the puzzle will be solved correctly by both of them. So, uh, Ali and Bong with the correct solution. So, uh, this one is PA, uh, Ali solve uh, the correct solution 0 0.65 while Bong, PB, 0 0.6 so these two are independence event so pa times pp 
So you just multiply these two. So you get 0 0.65 times 0 0.6. So you get 0 0.39. While B, uh, only one of them will get the correct solution, meaning uh, Ali get the correct solution while Bong get incorrect solution or Ali uh, didn't get the correct solution and Bong get the correct solution. So these two events we can put PA times PB prime plus PA prime times PB. So this you get 0 0.65 times 0 0.4 plus PA prime 0 0.35 times 0 0.6. So just multiply and add the other one you get 0 0.47. Example 4, there are 60 students in a certain college. 27 of them are taking mathematics, 20 are taking biology, and 22 are taking neither mathematics nor biology. So A, find the property that a, uh, a randomly selected student takes, one, both mathematics and biology, second one, mathematics only, and B, a student is selected at random, determine whether the event taking mathematics is statically independent of the event taking biology. Alright, before we solve uh, well, question A, let's look at the uh, information given. So, there are 60 students in certain college. So, meaning uh, the total NS is 60. And for to solve this question, you must draw Venn diagram. And then let's define uh, for each event. So, let be the event of taking biology and the event of taking mathematics. And the, the next one is X, uh, the number of students taking both biology and mathematics. So, uh, there are intersections between M and B, we put X, and we noted that uh, the total of taking mathematics is 27, and the total taking biology is 20. So, here, you get 27 minus X, and for the other one is 20 minus X. And... 22 is a neither mathematics nor biology that the student not taking mathematics nor biology. Alright, the total number of students and S is 16. So, so now we have to find X first. So uh, this one uh, just uh, add all that we have uh, before. So 27 here. 27 minus x plus x plus 20 minus x plus 22 equal to 60 and you solve x you get 9. So let's try for a1 probability for both mathematics and biology. So this is a stand for n. So here you get so 9 out of 60. So you just simplify, you get 3 over 20 for A2 Roman. Uh, mathematics only, meaning we have P intersect B prime. So here, it noted that uh, the set of 27 minus 27 minus 9 over 60. So you get 18 over 60, you simplify 3 over 10. Alright, to solve B, uh, a student is selected at random, determine whether the event taken in mathematics is uh, statically independent of event taken biology. So first, how to solve? So we have a P uh, mathematic intersect 
biology is 3 over 20. And now we look at, at the, uh, the probability of taking mathematics. So we noted that we have 27 out of 60, which is 9 over 60. Why taking biology is 20 over 60, we get 1 over 3. So we want to see whether even mathematics, independent or not, uh, while taking biology. So we just multiply this PM intersect PB, intersect PB. Just PM times PB. So you get 9 over 60 times 1 over 3. So you get 3 over 20. Now, so we see that from here and here is equal. So therefore, PM intersect B equals to PM times PB. So how, how to conclude this one? We can say that hence the uh, two events, which is uh, taking mathematics and taking biology are independent events. Alright, please try these two exercises and don't forget to submit to your lecturer. Alright, that's all. Bye.